Hey everybody, welcome back to Hacker Doodles channel and today I have a Dollar Tree haul. It is a collective haul for the over the past few weeks. Um, I'm sorry this is coming off a little late because um, uh, my father-in-law just passed away last week so we were on bereavement for about a week. Um, he was in town when it happened but of course you know you kind of do family things and you kind of just stop doing everything with your life and just kind of be there for the family and whatnot. So um, in my tradition, we do like a nine day prayer. So every day we would have to go to my mother-in-law's house, which is near the Daiso. I did go there maybe a, a few times just to get out, just to take a break. Um, but I'll be doing that haul in a little bit. So anyway, let me just get started with this Dollar Tree haul. There's a lot of stuff. Let me go ahead and show you the bags that I've found so I can start putting these things in the bags as I go along. It's these cute little, uh, big bags. I love these recycle bags. I love using these. I got the one with the shoes on it. And it's just green, plain green on, on these and they're just quite plain. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and open these so that as they go along I start putting things down. I also got the telephone and the typewriter and the, you know, it's pretty the vintage looking style bag. It is like, I don't know if this is like grayish blue color. It looks blue on camera I guess but to me it looks a little bit darker on it and it's just plain pink on the sides and the pink on the bottom so I love using these bags for when I um, do friend mails or put things away I like to keep these bags in there right now I have like my elephant bag which is my one of my ultimate drapes and the last one I have is the glasses the eyeglasses kind of looks like me <laughs> So it's like red. It looks orange on camera, I suppose, but it's really more of a red. And it's just teal on both sides, and I believe it's just a black bottom. So this is so cute. Really, really like these. So okay, now I got those bags out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting things in the mask. I go along. Okay, let's start with the food items. I did find finally find the Javalia iced coffee with almond, almond milk with mocha. I did not find the vanilla one. Um, I bought three of these. I gave one to my sister-in-law who is visiting because of my father-in-law passing away. So I gave her one of these and then uh, she hasn't tried it yet. And I haven't tried it yet. I just put these in the fridge and I was just happened to be on base. Our family are like a we're like Navy brats and actually my sister-in-law was in, is in the military so uh, we went to the base today and I saw these at the register quite towards the register the same exact size and everything and it was and on base you know you know on base everything is um, no tax and so much cheaper and it was going for three dollars and 36 cents there so I was really happy to find that these were just um, a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I believe these expire on April 2016 so this is great I also picked up some hazelnut creamer. Everybody keeps hauling these. I usually get the bigger ones. I usually go to Walmart or even to get these, so I'm not sure if this is a great deal, but I just wanted to have some creamer in the fridge. Um, it's a hazelnut one. This is what I usually buy anyway when I'm the large ones in the refrigerator from um, Walmart when I go buy it. So this is just good to have on hand. Um, I also found the Forelli hazelnut spread with cocoa. It's pretty much like Nutella, I believe, from what other people said. So I just thought it'd be nice to have some dip. Um, my husband really likes uh, Pocky, you know, stuff you buy from Daiso or you can buy it at Target. So I thought if we could just find those sticks, just those little cracker sticks. If anybody knows any uh, cracker sticks that we could purchase that are kind of like that, other than the handy snacks, um, just by itself, it'd be great just to dip. And this is pretty small, it's not too big. It's um, seven ounces. I also found um, the Waffle Works uh, snacks. Chocolate ones. I actually tried the cheese ones. They're not too bad. They're really, really salty. So I just want to go ahead and try the ones that are the chocolate um, waffle snacks. Not very much though. This is twice the chocolate because I believe that the flavor is chocolate and the chocolate filling. These are made in the USA and it's two ounces. I also found the McCormick sauces, the skillet sauces. I got the taco sauce. And I also bought the Sicilian chicken with tomato, basil, and garlic. I also found the medallion whole black peppercorn grinder. Um, we have our own grinder so more than likely we're just going to use the bottle, just use the peppercorn. I'm not sure. If, I don't do the cooking just letting you know. I don't cook at all. My husband does all the cooking. Um, so it's great to have some extra leaves. And last but not least for the food items, I got this I'm Ready Macaroons cookies. I've been seeing these and I had put it on Instagram like, and I said how 
I gave it a thumbs up. These are really, really good. Um, this is made by Love You, and Love You is actually a Chinese cookie brand maker. If you ever had, um, other than the fortune cookies you get at the Chinese restaurants, you get the almond cookie with the almond piece in it. Um, they're the makers of those, and so these actually just taste exactly like them. Just crunchier and for some reason, and they're so good. Um, when you open them, they actually come in a tray, so you don't really get all that much. You think you're getting a lot, but you're not. So, um... I was, my, this is a repurchase so um because i already finished the other box that i put on instagram so i just wanted to show you that i really like those and if you guys are fans of those almond cookies i say get these and one other thing that's not really kind of food related i just got some baking soda over there usually i get these at the 99 cent store um it's the arm and hammer brand at 99 cent store i think they sell it for 79 cents but um i haven't been able to get there lately so i just went ahead and bought this one and this is the kind that you kind of lift on the side and I'll put this in my fridge. The next few items I got were for my baby. Um, I did see the Huggies uh, Snug and Dry uh, three pack of diapers. Um, he still wears size two, he's still a small kid, a uh, small size baby, but um, they only have like the three, four, and fives. And I thought, you know, I might as well go ahead and get the threes. So I did buy a pack of threes, and then I decided later on as I was going to other Dollar Trees, you might as well get all the other sizes because you never know when you'll need to change all of a sudden um, to have them in your cars and availability whenever he has like a blowout or anything. So I did get the size threes and the size fours. And like I said, it comes in a pack of three. And size five so i have all the sizes and i think i got multiple of the size threes just to have them available when i need them so i'll leave them in our cars and we'll leave them. i also picked up more hangers for him he keeps getting more clothes he just had a um, baptismal and people were sending giving him a, uh, clothing as gifts and they're much larger some are like 12 month sizes so i just need a little bit more of those i found another set of books these are sesame streets books and he loves Sesame Street actually um, on Netflix I put on um, play with me Sesame and it seems like it's more geared towards like younger kids because there's not like um, a lot of counting or whatever like that it's just a whole bunch of puppets and my son absolutely loves Bert and Ernie especially when Ernie's talking to him in his face so if you guys ever watch play with me Sesame on Netflix for your child and you just you know he just loves it I don't know how much oh, he just gets he just jumps up and down whenever he sees them and smiles at it, so it's really cute. Anyway, so I found them some more Sesame Street books. I got them the Bedtime on Sesame, with Elmo on it. And again, these are like four, you know, they're just the big hard brown books with, uh, you know, chipboards and stuff like that. So I got them that. And again, when you buy book sets like this from um, the Greenbrier brands from the Dollar Tree, there's always a set of four, so that's one of them. I got the Abby's First Book of Rhymes. And the funny thing is, I when I went to uh, Target, I also saw this book too, Abby's first book of rhymes, but it was a different cover, and it was in the dollar spot as well. So um, it was interesting to see that they have it, and it was in the same shape as well, but it was a different color. Then I got Elmo's first book of animals. So just like that, pages, really cute. And the last book I got was Oscar's first book of manners, which would be probably interesting because he's pretty main mean guy so um we'll see what this book goes about so those are the four books i got for my son and that's it for the kids stuff um i went to one of my other dollar trees and i found um the scarves and actually i was just watching somebody else's haul i can't remember who it was but they found the christmas scarves and i was very like oh, wow i'm gonna start looking for the christmas scarves and after all those i, I have a lot of scarves and I think after Christmas when Christmas comes up I am not gonna buy any more scarves next year at all I think it's just way too many scarves but I did find this one it kind of reminds kind of looks like a packer in a way kind of funny at that but um and they have a whole bunch of them I'll go ahead and post you know post a picture over here I'm getting always confused with that post a picture from Instagram about the photos of all the other scarves I found but I just thought this was nice because I do wear a lot of red and you can just kind of wear black and whatever it'll go great with that so I got that scarf I also picked up this uh, wristlet keychain. I actually use a wristlet keychain for my um, my keys in the first place. I had got one in um, Hawaii that was like made, so uh, it's getting kind of beat up. So it's kind of nice just to go ahead and get another one. They had different colors over there that I plaid. I'm sure a lot of you guys have hauled this before. Some other household items I got was um, I actually got two of these, but I'm already using one. The three outlet six inch uh, extension cord. Got that. 
So uh, these are great to always have on hand. The only thing is it's for a two prong, so if you're looking for a three prong, you're not gonna get it with these. They're not that kind of that heavy duty kind of stuff. So there you go. And I just picked up some Sunbeam Lithium CR2032 batteries. These don't last very long at all, so you know when you get, when you need to use them, just get them right away and use them. This says it expires in May of 2018, but for some reason, these just die really quickly. So if you need to use them, only buy them when you need them. Don't buy them just to have and keep on hand. It's just not worth it. Okay, I also picked up more of my Glade Hawaiian Breeze. I like to put this in my dog's room. We have a dog room for my puppies. And um, when they get funky smelling, I like, after I clean up the room each week, I usually put this in there to make it smell better. I also found some pens. Um, the, you know, I did haul the other breast cancer when it's pen and had like a purplish top. And I found the one with the white. I really wanted it. So, really cute. Got that. And they also had some new pens, uh, new other fat style of pens I found. I guess it's the Christmas ones. And these are the, here's this, this pattern, which is really, really cute. And these are the Christmas ones, I believe. And I also got this one. And I also, which are not too Christmassy. It's just this one's more of a Christmassy design with the little snowflakes and such so I thought these are cute and so I picked up all three of these probably going as like Christmas gifts for people and the last uh, pens that I got was this five marker scented um, pens by INC strawberry orange apple blueberry grape and grape scents in here um, I haven't tried these yet they're a broad line so I, I, I assume they're kind of like the crepe so these pens are pretty good um, I the blue one marked pretty well but the scents are okay they're not the best so um, for a dollar, you can't really you can't really lose on it, so that's fine. I also picked up a couple more solar animals. I found um, the Halloween ones. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of people have this one. Our haul is too much. Maybe I'm not watching enough people. But I got by the solar cat with the pumpkin. It seems kind of rare. Every time I go to the other Dollar Trees, I see solar the Halloween ones from before. They're everything else but this. And then I also got the one with the um, the little ghosts. So I thought this was really really cute got these two last Halloween items. I know there's like a couple of week, like a week or so left of Halloween and then I get a boo on and all that, right? I found these um, treat bags and they're like the paper ones. I love sending out birthday gifts a lot of times or uh, packages and when I do I like to use little paper treat bags. I also found this one. I always put the little bear on it. Happy birthday there. I have a little flag. Oh, these are the cutest ones of all. On my Tuesday mornings haul, I, I had gotten some embossing folders and I needed some stamps. And so I found some stamps at um, Stamp Pants at the Dollar Tree. And I believe I bought three. I don't know what happened to the other one. But I got the red one and the green one by Jot. Not sure if these are any good, if they'll dry out. Let me know if you guys are saying these are pretty good quality at all. Otherwise, it's just a dollar. And for some stupid reason, I don't know how. These are some different occasions and I keep picking up these um, sequences and I didn't realize I bought three of the same kind. I'm so annoyed with myself. So I really just need one. I don't know why I have so many. So I have three. So more than likely I'm going to be exchanging these because I don't need three of these. I only just needed one. I, I thought maybe I was getting different colors and I guess I wasn't. And I was supposed to go for the DIY stuff. So anyway. Oh wait, here's the other stamp pad, the blue one. So I got the blue, red, and green stamp pad by Jot. Okay, now, these are a whole bunch of like duct tapes that came out and I, you know, I always buy all the duct tapes and hopefully this is all the duct tape they're gonna be having for the whole year because I have way too many of these duct tapes. I actually have um, trays of all the duct tapes like this in my house. Now I'll have like four because from all these duct tapes now, it looks like it's really full. Oh my God, yeah. But one of the ones I just repurchased was just this one. I was funny running out of this one. I happened to find this one left, so I wanted to go ahead and get this design again, which is really cute. The brownie color. Um, I also picked up, so the first ones I saw beforehand, I saw were the shiny holographic ones. I found this pink one with the little dots on them, which is really pretty. It's got a pinkish color. The red one like that. It's kind of a geometric design on it, so it's pretty cute. Um, the gold one. I feel like I'm missing a few. I don't know what happened to it. So this is like a, I don't know, they kind of look like flowers or something. They're really, really pretty, but since it's holographic, they change, so it kind of looks like a flower in different views. 
then I got, oh, I guess there was just, I swear there was six. I don't know what happened to the other one. Because usually Dollar Tree sells like six of the designs, I believe, but okay, or five. Maybe I'm just saying, okay, so I got this green one. You can see that, okay. And the silverish boxy ones. This kind of reminds me of like those geometric ties that men wear sometimes with that little design. The purple one, it was in my 99 cent store bag, so I got the purple one with the chef on. So I do have all six of the duct tapes. I guess I found all six of these. Okay, and then I found all the Christmas ones and I was really excited that I found them. I got the ones with the Christmas trees, the green ones with the Christmas trees and gifts. Be festive. And then the the one that looks like snowflakes and blue stripes. So I thought those were really pretty. Uh, the Pinky Dotty ones, which you probably use all year long because it's not Christmassy too much. The stripey one. And the last but not least is the red and white polka dots. You know, it's so funny when I found this, it's like, oh, this is pretty. How come it looks familiar to me? I don't know why it looks so familiar to me. And it's because I bought the packaging tape that um, Dollar Tree has. It's the sticky one with the little dispenser, which is not really good quality. It, it's also red with white polka dots and the green with white polka dots too. So um, I thought, oh, okay, well, it's the same, but this is a better quality than those tapes. So yeah, but I believe that's all the Christmas tape. Oh, last one was this one, the white, chef white and gray chevron. So I also found some iPad cases. Um, first off, I did find this way before the new stuff just came out. And I found this uh, Buxton iPad um, folio. They came in blue, this color blue, a brown, and a black, I believe. And it's a two-piece, and it goes around like that. And, you know, I was like, oh, this is a great deal for a dollar. You know, you can't leave these with these. Um, I believe that you can, um, this comes like that, just, just for the hole for the apple that goes in there. <laughs> So, um, and it does, it does, I believe it kind of does hold, oh yeah, I guess you just kind of fold that over and you can hold it in place. So I thought, okay, that's great to have this cover and I think that was, and then everybody started hauling or showing the new Griffin ones and then I did start finding them. So I did pick up this one at first. This is my old Apple a smart cover. It's really dingy and dirty and the rest it was on this one. My husband was using it at first when he had his iPad and, um, and I have a pink one like this, but I didn't really want to use it anymore. So I got that one. This is an old one. And they have the Griffin back one for a dollar. I thought that's a really good a good deal. But before I thought that, I thought, okay, well, oh, they even have the front one. So I did get the front ones, not knowing all this time that it has a back. So this is my iPad, and this is great. This is also a Griffin brand. And the nice thing about this is it's also a smart cover. And let me just make sure it goes It goes like that, and it does fold really nicely. And when you fold it, because it's kind of a bandy, there's like a little insert here. So you can go ahead and kind of fit it in there that way. So that's really nice that it does all that stuff. So I'm really glad I found that. So I do have quite a few iPad case covers. And I am still looking for the other kind that the cool ones are like the ones with the elephant and the owl that people have been putting on Facebook. So, but I did find these other kinds. Um, I found the gold chevron one and I believe it's the same as this black one and it just has like the little backing on it as well where you can slip it on the side like that so that was cute I'm not sure if I want to keep this I might want to just give this away or um, use it as a swap I don't know I'm not really too keen on gold and I also found the red one and this is going to go for my mom's iPad so I thought that was nice for her she loves red and um, and I think it has a gold it's gold on the inside, so that's really neat. It has this nice texture on it. So, and they did have a purple one. It's purple with black lace. I'll go ahead and post the pictures up. That's the ones I saw. They had a whole bunch of iPhone cases for the 5S, I believe. And I was like, well, I don't have a 5S anymore. I used to, so. But it was cute. They have a lot of cute covers out there. So keep on looking up if you guys have iPads or, um, I guess it's just old nowadays that you don't sell regular iPads anymore. Everything's about the air, so that's why they're coming out for a dollar. But because people have them, they have them for their kids, it's awesome to have. Let's do the beauty items. And then afterwards, I'll just end with stickers because I do have a lot of stickers. First off, basic item, just got more of this 
gentle skin cleanser. I've been using this for like all the time. I use it for everything. My hands, wash my hands, my face. I think this is great. It's a great, great dupe for the Cetaphil. It just has more of a scent than the Cetaphil does. And Cetaphil is like, it ranges like $13, $14 or something. If you go to Walmart, it's very expensive. So I like getting these and I saw these again. So I just made sure I got more. I have them in every bathroom in my house just because my hands are so sensitive. They don't hurt when I wash my hands with it. I found, um, and this is not for me, I found the Power Lip Milani. Um, I'm actually using this color right now. This is the Mac Room number five. So this is how it looks like. It's pretty glossy and whatever, but this is gonna go out to someone else's friend mail. I found, um, I thought I found all the baby lips, but apparently I think I'm missing, or maybe not. I hope there's just five. I guess I do have them all. I thought I only had four, but there is five. I got the green minty sheer 90. Number 80, Berry Ball. Number 75, Fierce and Tangy. And it's yellow. Number 85, O Orange. And number 70, Pink Shock. So I found all of them. And I really like the baby lips. I haven't opened these yet, but Pretty and Flaw had sent me some from our, a friend mail, just recently, her most recent swap for me. And I was just, I love it. I love using it. It smells really good. The one I'm using is kind of a, a nudie color and it smells like orange sherbet. So I bet you all these baby lips are awesome as well. So I finally found the Mineral Eyeshadow Primer by, and it's sheer though, by um, e.l.f. I think that was another kind. I'm not really certain. Cause this is sheer, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it comes on like this in a nice tube and I believe it's just a, yeah, one of those, so that's pretty cool. I like e.l.f. products, so got that one. The other e.l.f. item I got also was this eyeshadow palette in the blues, so and I just like, it's just like the brown ones, it has all the different um, sayings and creases and where you put them, so. I'm not much of a color on eyeshadow type things, but they'll be nice just to have. I like getting ones that should tell you where to put stuff because I really don't know how to use makeup. <laughs> okay, and I finally found the new um, nail stickers by Tashi and Chic. So I got the ones with the um, anchors. I thought these were so cute. And I guess I apparently got two of these by accident because I've gone to so many Dollar Trees on different occasions. So when I see them, I just kind of pick them up, confusing myself if I have them or not. So, I have two of these, which is really cute. And the last one I picked up is the one that looks like fireworks. Just so really cute too. And I also found a salon um, that has Sally Hansen ones, um, the Kim. And I really like these a lot because they, they do smell, they actually do smell like nail polishes and they say they are nail polishes and you actually need to use a acetone to take it off. But I, I, I don't like using acetone because if, if my skin's open, it will burn me. So. I just peel them off. It is really hard to peel off, and these last a very, very long time. So this is the one with the cheetah print with the colors on it. I got that one. Kind of like the snaky. It looks kind of snake skinny, but it also looks like, um, like somewhat like a knit or pixelated. I don't know different designs. And then I got the ones that look like um, circles or just. And the last one I got was the lippies. I'm glad I found all of those nail stickers. Okay, so last but not least, let's get down to almost my stickers and stationery last part. Uh, I just thought I'd pick this up for my pocket letters. People actually use these for um, their pocket letters, I know, so I just got some of these at the Dollar Tree. Um, I also, like when I used to make cakes or whatever for my dogs, I would use these on my cake rounds, so these are just nice to have little designs for cakes. I also found the glitter paper. And it comes in a pack of three, which would be great for pocket lettering. Um, they look really nice. The colors look really awesome. Those. I also found these table setters. I thought they would be really cute to put on my cards or whenever I make stuff. And it's they're really glittery. I'm a little hesitant to use them, but they're the happy birthday ones. And they're like confetti. They're pretty large pieces. And you know, I could put them on my friend uh, on birthday cards when I make them. I could cut the pop up off the holes and stuff and just kind of glue them onto the backs of them. Though it's glitter on both sides of these things, so it'll be really, really messy. But hey, it's not bad, especially if they're birthdays and you can use them. You can actually probably put these in pocket letters for someone's birthday pocket letter. So I thought that's gonna be. Okay, so I also found the owl window decorations. Um, 
bet you, I think it's, um, it is Kathy's note that's with Lori. She liked these and she had mentioned somebody else would put this on a picture frame. And I thought that's a really wonderful idea to do. It's really cute. So not so sure exactly how, what I'm going to do with this, but because you don't really see large owl stuff like this, I thought it'd be kind of cool to get some old stickers. I love using these conversation bubbles. And if you've gotten like from mail before, from me before, I like putting them all over my, um, animals and they say hello to you or whatever hoot hoot males okay so everybody's been hauling these and i'm just glad i found them myself i've kind of been holding on to these for a while so kind of needed to do this haul right away so i found like these the 3d stickers the family i like how shiny these are and then i got the owl i know i have two of these somewhere the owls ones are really pretty with this shiny glitter and just very 3d ish coffee ones with the forks and knives and spoon, which is really, really cute. And the birdies. I believe I have this one out. I just can't remember where. And then I got the birds and the trees. And the, I mean, it looks like a big, large flower. The magic the key. And the life one. The little cute little owls here. And the last one is the simple life. This one. So found more of, I did find these food wood stickers and they're really shiny. I didn't realize there's actually glitter on them. Really cute. The butterflies. The fairies. And this is not really for me. I'm actually going to give this to somebody. It'd be great for pocket letters too. I, found, I bought two of these little pink owl stickers. I found this one with the for animals and of course I got it for the cute little fox right here. There's a lot of animals on this one and I like how they're gold outline I guess. So I don't know if you can see that very well and very holographically glittery. And the last one is I gave this away. I think I gave this to Pretty and Flawed so I wanted to use these for all my girly girls whenever I use stickers. It's just nice to have all these kinds of stuff. So that's it. That's the last of my Dollar Tree haul. It's a lot of things. Um, a lot of editing to do. A lot of things to put away. So um, stay tuned. I do have a 99 cent store haul. I have Target. I have maybe a Walmart and a Daiso. So, um, keep, keep a watch out for that one. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next haul. Bye. Happy hunting, everybody.